Pokemon podcast, no holds barred, no nothing podcast, where we hurt the ones we love. I screwed that up. I'm joined today with my mama. Mom's Hello, out. everyone. Mom, you don't have to yell. Hello, everyone. There she is. Mom, do you know what this show's about? Have you listened to it? Pokemons. Yeah, but have you listened to it? Yeah. Don't you lie to me. But I'm not very good with names, so I'll have to give you descriptions. <laughs> okay. Mom, what? Uh, how's your pokey, pokey world going? Pretty good. Mom, you play Pokemon Go, right? Yes. Yes. Who's your favorite Pokemon right now? Who is my favorite Pokemon is the my legendaries. Okay. The one you gave me, he's white and he's big. Palkia? Yeah, he's my favorite. And, oh, the um, Godzilla one. Uh, Tyranitar. Yeah, they're my favorite. And... I like Flareon, and that's about my favorite. <laughs> Can I get my game? I mean, where's your phone? In the living room. Uh, nah, that's okay. okay. Don't worry, this won't take long. Mom, on this show, we go through, uh, we pick a Pokemon at random, and then we talk about it. Uh, concerning my Poke life, oh, seems like everybody but me is catching shinies. I think Hannah, Allison, and Wes all caught shiny diglets because they suck. I caught a shiny uh, pooch. Yeah, there you go. See, everyone's catching shinies, but poor old Brett. Um, that sucks. Uh, Mom just caught a Charizard at my house before I got here, and it was despawned by the time I got here, so I did not get that. That was great. I did catch a Shinx, though, on the way. I caught a, I've caught a you couple caught a Shinx. Shinx. I caught a couple In Shinx. In the wild? No. Oh. No, it was In raids. The raid? yeah, it was all raids. I want to black things. Shanks. Whatever. Okay. Sorry for the buzzing. This thing is not wanting to work. Anyway, Mom, say something. Well, we're going to talk about a certain Pokemon. Uh-huh. But I've never seen it before. Uh-huh. Poor Sola. Stop! You said to talk. Now you don't want me to talk? No, well, you're not supposed to ruin what, what the Pokemon is yet. I haven't spun the wheel. You've ruined the illusion of the show. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, uh, me and Jasmine became lucky friends. The only lucky friend I've had thus far. And we traded Rayquazas. Got me a nice 93% Rayquaza. So that's good. Oh, screw it. Let's just spin the stupid wheel. In a minute. <laughs> We're in a mess. You know what? She already ruined it. It's Corsola, number 222. Corsola is a water and rock type Pokemon uh, with abilities Hustle or Natural Care, and its hit ability is Regenerator. Uh, it's a pink little uh, coral reef looking cute cutie booty from generation three and it does not evolve uh, ooh. if its habitat is dirty the growth on its back becomes discolored and degenerates however when it is healthy its growths regularly shed and grow back it is able to regrow them over the course of a single night it forms large social groups occasionally these groups get so large that people may live atop them Corsola's horn is a prize material commonly used for jewelry and carving as seen in the anime. Smaller Pokemon like Seedra and Love Disc are sometimes sheltered by Corsola's branches. In the Alola region, Marini and to Toxi Toxapex are natural predators of Corsola, meaning that they eat her. 
Mom, what do you think about corslet? It's cute. But I don't like people making jewelry from them. I think it's making jewelry from the shed horns after they've already been oh, shed. Well, kind of like how a deer sheds antlers. Yeah. And they make jewelry out of those. Uh huh. What's the what's the power? What I mean What's the power? What's the superpower? What do you well, I don't understand the question. I mean, does it fight with water? What does it fight it's with? It's water and rock, Ma. Oh, it throws rocks. Sure. Sure it throws watery rocks. Let's see, uh, major appearances. Misty has a Corsola in an episode called, uh, a Corsola Caper. Uh, let's see, in, uh, around the whirlpool, blah, blah, blah. Where's my phone? Anyway. Yeah. Corsola. It's hard to make fun of Corsola. But we're gonna do it anyway. Mom! She's very cute. Ah! Uh, oh, boy. Mom. Brett. Get ready. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Who in that Pokemon? It's been a long time since we've done a ruin that Pokemon. So we're going to ruin this Pokemon. It's cute, it's sweet, it's adorable, and we're going to ruin it. So, Mom, we have to fire insults off as quickly as we can at, at Corsola. That's not nice. No, it's not at all, and that's what we're going to do. Corsola looks like uh, Grandma's toenails after she's clipped them. And they uh, got lodged in a sink and grew fungus. Corsula looks like that toy that used to shake. And it had spikes out of it and it was a toy that used to a shake. A bumble ball. Yeah, a bumble ball. Is that an insult? It's a nice insult. Sir. I wouldn't pick my nose with a Corsula spike. Well, I wouldn't sit on a Corsula spike. I probably would. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> giggity, giggity. <laughs> um... No, it's too cute. I can't do it. Corsola looks like it belongs in an adult store. That's terrible. Corsola looks like it belongs in several adult stores. No, it doesn't. Corsola looks like what you bring to an adult party. No, it... it no, it isn't. Corsola looks like it could seat <coughs> several. What? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Corsola looks like if the pig from Toy Story had a seizure Actually, and got trapped in a conveyor what, belt. What? Why would people draw cute little eyes on the mouth on that body? Corsola looks like a, 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 a coin bank pig that melted halfway through and then... Exact. That's what it does, yeah. And then someone stretched it out with hooks. That's not a very good insult. No. Not hooks, but... Corsola is currently eroding due to mankind's intervention and is going extinct. That's also not an insult. That's just a sad correlation. Correlation for Corsola. Mom, correlate something to Corsola. Coral? Oh, boy. Uh, this is a show, all right. Uh. Good enough. Why are we insulting Pokemon? Because that's what we do. We hurt the ones we love. Mom, I forgot I forgot to mention. Uh, Jasmine on this show a few weeks ago said we were going to Pokemon Go Fest. And I was really annoyed that she did that because I didn't want to do that until we had tickets. And sure enough, we did not get tickets. She jinxed us. She did something. Well, to be fair, uh, her boyfriend Adam did get selected. We had 48 hours to get our tickets. And the next day he went to go buy four. And they were, every single day was sold out, which was very much horseshit. And the antic support is garbage, too. I believe it's because people have multiple accounts. Probably. I mean, that doesn't help, but it's bullshit. They shouldn't, they shouldn't select people when they don't have enough tickets. Right. It should be open to anyone who wants to come. Well, I don't know about that, because, I mean, maybe if it didn't involve, like, your cell phone and being on the internet... Because the problem with that is when there's too many people, it causes everything to crash and you can't even get on the game. I think they charge us enough money they can fix that problem. Mom, it's only like $25. Not, it's not them. The there, there's service, no way they're making... The cell service, whoever you belong to. Okay, AT well, the cell service don't give a crap about Pokemon. Anyway, Detective Pikachu comes out... Uh, Well, actually, by the time... Thursday. By the time this comes out, we'll have already seen it. Uh, so I guess we'll probably do another episode just specifically for Detective Pikachu. 
Uh, let's see, Mesprit and Azelf are in the wild in Pokemon Go. Uh, they're regionals. I'm not sure which one goes where, but I know Azelf is in North America, or the Americas, rather. Uh, let's see, there were some egg changes, uh, new research breakthroughs where they finally got rid of those damn legendary dogs, and instead, the, oh, uh, the Registeels and the Regiices and the Regirocks, they're gone too, and now it's just what? Oh. Ho-Oh, Luigia, as we've established in a previous episode, and help me, Mom. About what? What's the other one? Oh, Latias and Latios. There it is. Yep, that stuff's there. Um, community Day is coming up here in a few weeks with Torchic. Don't give a crap. I'm going to eat me some chicken nuggets. That's all the news, which we're not really a news show. The news is out there. If you want the Pokemon news, you can go find it. Like, that's not what this show's about. This show is literally very stupid, and we talk about Pokemon. What are you doing, Mom? Nothing. Looking at I my Pokemon. I can see you're looking at Pokemon I'm and you're burping. Wait for Charizard to she's show drinking, up. She's drinking a beer like a classy lady. I'm now, waiting for Charizard to show up. Charizard? I can't wait to have a Charizard episode. I hope I remember to call it a Charizard. Alright, that's it. Mom! Mom. Yes? You got anything to say? Nope. You sure? You got any bad, like, more sad things to say about Corsola? Nope. Why not? She looks very happy. Happy like a crack addict, because she, look, she looks like a cocaine ball wrapped in a pink plastic bag. I know that 75% of Corsolas are female, so there's nothing wrong with that. They get to choose their male mates. Okay, you're just literally reading off a website right now. All right, Mom. What? The, the, the music, the end music's going to play a little bit here, and we have to sing a song. Like, for every Pokemon, we have to sing a song. I'd like to hear you sing it. Nope, you're going to do it. What do we got for Corsola? Doesn't even rhyme with anything. Corsola, Corsa does. <laughs> Corsa, Corsa does, Corsola. Drinks. No, you know, I'm not saying make an original song. You can parody a real song. Oh, I'm not a very good parody singer. All right, here we go. <laughs> Come get you some for a lake to the end of fate. She's gonna get you and drown you in the lake. Hey, my love. Been standing most of our lives, living in the course of love paradise. We can't get any cream pies, cause living in the course of love paradise. It's just the course of I don't I don't remember Gangster's Paradise. You're funny. Mm -hmm. I love you. Questionable. Love